Las Vegas. They say the show must go on, but is the snake in the next story ready to give up performing? Maria Farra is a Las Vegas performer who spends her free time rescuing reptiles. But as close as Maria is to her boa evita, she could not tell whether or not old injuries had ever healed. I first came across Evita at a reptile swap meet. Uh, she's a black Argentine boa constrictor in one of the booths, and she was just beautiful, but she was very underweight, very lethargic, very skinny for a boa of her size. It just tore me apart to see her like that. The first thing I did was take her to a veterinarian and have her checked for a lot of different things that could be wrong with snakes. She had a couple problems. It was just a very sad situation for her. I'd be very curious to know if Evita holds any grudges against me for putting her through a lot of pain the first months I had her. She was poked a lot with needles, with medication. I had to restrain her and I just wish she could know that I was doing it for her own good. I don't think she really understood why I was doing that to her. Hello Hi. and how nice to nice meet you. Nice to meet you. you. This is Maria. Maria and who's this beautiful, beautiful. This is Evita. She's very beautiful. Thank you. And is it okay to stroke oh, her yes. like this? Yes. She doesn't mind. She's excited. Mm -hmm. And what I'm feeling is a lot of gratitude. So I'm going to give it to you as I'm feeling and putting my feelings and senses into words, which she is literally transmitting to me. And she's telling me there was a time, Maria, when she was really abused and bed badly handled and she was hurt very much with the rough handling that she had mm. and she said that she'd never had someone like a mama before and you're her first mama ever oh. that worked one-to-one -one with her and that really loves her and cares about her because before she suffered tremendously at the hands of people humans mm -hmm. that just didn't understand. Maria, I, I am feeling something she's telling me with the mouth. She had tremendous pain at one point here mm -hmm. in her mouth and she said that's some of the worst pain she's ever experienced. Do you know about that? Yes, I do. That was the first thing I noticed besides her. She was very thin. Her whole mouth was swollen and she had something called mouth rot. She said she'd had it for it a long painful. time. She did. I, I'm sure she did. It was very and bad. And she said it, the, the pain was excruciating. Mm -hmm. And she's never experienced pain like that. And she also is telling me, please apologize because I wasn't that well behaved. But will you tell Maria that um, it was so painful when you were treating it mm -hmm. that she said it was also unbearable but she knew you were helping her and she said she wasn't always that good when you were treating that. No you weren't. <laughs> and she said but please tell her that I still hadn't learned to trust her at that point. I loved her but I wasn't still wasn't sure. Now I am sure and now I really trust her because she'd never had anyone she could trust before a human. So she wants you to know she feels great and that she feels very happy. And she says that she works very hard um, for her keep. Oh, yes. And she said, how long do you think she'll have to work with you? She understands and she enjoys it, but how long do you think? I love doing photos with her. I do photos for my website to help educate people and raise yes. money for all, all the snakes I take in. And as long as she'll let me, I probably will always do photos with her. Um, but as far as going out in public, she, start, she starts to get too big, and I don't like yeah. bringing them out too yeah. much when they get she too said, big. She um, said that work she doesn't like too much, then that's but she fun. loves it when there's one-to-one -one with you. So let me acknowledge that and thank her for... Darling, she's just beautiful. This is so wonderful to speak to a snake and to be so close to one. She said it's her pleasure too. Thank you, I've really enjoyed our chat. I have, yes. Yeah. Well, thank you very thank you. much. Thank you. I was really excited when Sonia touched on a couple things. Uh, she was talking about the mouth problems with the snake. That was one of the first things that was wrong with Evita. That I think if Evita could talk, I think she would talk about that because it was a very painful part of her life. It was also fun to know that the snake actually enjoys doing photos with me because that is the way I earn a lot of money to help save a lot of the snakes. I was really glad to see Sonia was comfortable around the snake. A lot of people are very intimidated by snakes, especially Evita. But Sonia was great with her, and that was really nice to see.